what's up you guys so as you guys can see i just got back from shipping out my first orders of 2021 i can't believe 2020 is actually over happy new year to all of you guys i'm really excited for what 2021 has to bring you know, around this time of year, people tend to make New Year's resolutions, and I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, but I do believe in creating intentions. But not just for the year, but also for each month and each week and each day. So a few days ago at the beginning of January, I took the time to sit down and really think about what I wanted to focus on this year and how that will translate to my intentions for my daily life. And I have a system that I use to create goals for my business and my personal life. And this year, I've decided to just focus on doing things that make me happy and not focusing on the end results. I think last year, I was too focused on how much money a certain activity would make me or how many followers I could get by doing this or that. But by doing that, I sacrificed my happiness in the process. And ultimately, I realized, like, what is the point of money and followers and all of these things if you're not even happy? So moving forward in my life, I'm only going to be making my goals based on what is actually going to make me happy. So this year, I'm only creating art that makes me happy. I'm only making YouTube videos that make me happy. I'm only buying things that makes me happy. I'm only spending my time with people who make me happy, even if it's not the most profitable thing or the most efficient thing. You know, despite all of the horrible things that happened in 2020, it really took me on a personal journey and I kind of went through what some people would call a spiritual awakening. And in that, my perspective on life has really changed. You know, who I was at the beginning of last year is completely different <laughs> from who I am now. And you know, I think it's because I've really got to know myself better and I've realized that the meaning of life is to actually just live life you know whatever that means for you and for me that means just actually following my passion following the things that are pulling on my heart and not chasing superficial goals that at the end of the day they don't even really mean anything so i feel like the type of art that i make is going to change a little bit but i just want to live more authentically to me and i hope y'all are down to follow me on this journey called life and hopefully get inspired along the way so with that being said, I want to start working on my first painting of the year. My idea for this painting is all about new beginnings and just inspiring myself and others that it's okay to go on a new direction in life and to just do whatever you want. Enjoy life, y'all. I feel like that's the biggest takeaway. Just like do you and stop worrying or getting distracted by all of these things that society and maybe our family members and other people place on us because trust me it does not really matter <laughs> um, so i'm going to be working on this painting over the next few days and i am really excited about how it will turn out so i haven't even started it yet it's just an idea in my head at this point so i still have all the work to do on it but but it's gonna be fun. And as long as it's fun, that's what I care about. So yeah.
Okay guys, so this is one of my old sketchbooks that I've started using recently to plan out my ideas better and you know, make more meaningful concepts and stuff like that. So I'm planning out my new painting and this is what I wrote. So the title of the painting is Every Day is a New Beginning and I want the background to be like a sunrise, you know, because it's a new day, right? It makes sense. And for the sunrise colors, I was thinking maybe like orange, yellow, pink. And then I want the main character to be a girl's face, maybe with some like brownish, reddish tones in it. And I want her to be wearing like a do-rag or a bonnet because the concept is like she just woke up and you know, most black girls sleep with a bonnet or like a hair tie. I personally wear a do-rag to bed, so it would be like the girl is waking up to this sunrise and it's a new day, it's a new beginning. And maybe she'll be smiling. I'm thinking maybe I could do the eyes really detailed. Not sure yet, I might have her eyes closed actually. And I was thinking if I should put the words every day is a new beginning on the painting itself so maybe in her hair or on her like durag, maybe in the sky. And then this right here is the very rough, <laughs> very rough sketch of like the composition I'm thinking of. So like the girl just waking up, durag, and then I want the sun like creeping out from the background and just shining, like just rising. And then have some mountains maybe that like the sun is like creeping out of and I want the rays of the sun to be very like predominant. I'm not sure how I'm going to paint that yet but I think that's important and the girl's gonna be very like chill, som just woke up, like somber, might have her eyes closed and she's probably gonna be like naked or like not really wearing clothes but it's only gonna be from like the chest or like shoulders up and this is just for me to get an idea of like compositionally what I want it to look like. Um, this is, I did this so quick in like five seconds. So <laughs> don't judge my drawing abilities <laughs> off of this sketch, but yeah, I was thinking to adding some clouds maybe um, in the middle ground here. Uh, I was thinking flowers, I don't know. Like I don't want to do too much though. I want it to be just kind of simple and to the point. So yeah, this is my overall idea right now. So usually now my next steps once I have like my idea fleshed out is to find references. I use reference images for all of my artwork because it's just easier. I work better with that. A lot of artists work off references. So I'm gonna try and find a reference for the girl's face and maybe some references for like a sunrise that I could work off of. Um, and I'm just gonna browse the internet. Like that's literally all I do. I just go on Google, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, like anywhere that has decent pictures really. And like I can find a combination of references and just like put them together in my own artistic way. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do.
All right, you guys, so as you can see, I've started to put in work on this new painting. I just finished the whole background and I'm loving how it looks so far. I'm really, really excited to finish this. I decided not to put any clouds in the background like I originally thought, cause you know, clouds take a long time to paint to get them right, you know, all the detailed blending and all that stuff. And I just didn't feel like doing it on this piece today. And you know, I didn't want too many clouds in the background to take away from the sunset, like the clear gradients that I was going for in the sunrise, I mean. Um, so yeah, I opted out of clouds. I tried to get the sun peeking out over the mountains looking like very natural and authentic, you know? It was my first time really doing a technique like that, trying to get like the sun rays going down and across, but I think I did a good job. I think I did a pretty good job, so. So yeah, but it is nighttime right now. I spent most of the day working on this so i think i'm gonna end the video right here you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're looking forward to new beginnings in 2021 and if you're not subscribed um don't miss out and definitely hit that subscribe button so you can see how this painting turns out i'm definitely going to continue working on it in the next video maybe i'll even finish it hopefully we'll see but yeah i guess i'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.